Members of the Louisiana National Guard's 1021st Engineer Company were welcomed home by family and friends after serving overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Welcome to Inside Ascension. I'm John Connolly. We'll have more on this story for you later in the show. And I'm Marshall Courtney. Thanks for joining us. Stay with us for the next half hour or so and you'll see the following stories. Two projects have recently seen ceremonial groundbreaking, construction of the new governmental complex in Gonzales and renovations at historic Crescent Park in Donaldsonville. We'll visit both sites in Turning Dirt. Ascension welcomes hot air balloons for the third year to the grounds at Lamar Dixon. This year's festival comes with side dishes in the form of delicious barbecue along with blues music too. So bring your appetite and we'll fill you up with balloons, blues and barbecue. Parish government begins harnessing the power of the sun with a solar powered project at Lamar Dixon. And the recycling effort in Ascension is stronger than ever. We shine the light on these environmental projects and going green. Family and friends celebrated the return of loved ones serving in the Louisiana National Guard's 1021st. We'll show you the reunion in coming home. And we'll wrap up the show with some land yap with a song from a local musician who also works for Ascension Parish in the drainage department Trent Bourgeois. So stay with us, won't you? All these stories are coming to you right now, Inside Ascension. Gone is the old East Ascension Hospital, demolished to make room for a new governmental complex. The site has been ready for construction of what will become the new home of parish government. And in Donaldsonville, Crescent Park has been around for a long time and is about to get a facelift. Thank you for being here. This, this is a great occasion that uh, I think we've been waiting on for a long, long time. And so because, because of such an auspicious crowd and because of the, the wait that we've been having, let's start it off the right way. I would like to invite the Ascension uh, Sheriff's Chaplain, Ken Spivey, to come up and just let's start with an invocation. You're already standing, so we're ahead of the game. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, on a day as beautiful as today, we thank you for your goodness and mercy uh, for this great parish you've blessed uh, so mightily. I pray that you would be with each and every person that's here today, our parish government. I ask that you continue to grant wisdom, guidance, and strength. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for the people of this great parish. For these things I ask in the name of Christ, amen. Thank you, Reverend, and once again, thanks everyone for being here, for attending. Uh, it, it's, it's really heartening to see such a great crowd uh, assembled here today. And uh, speaking of crowd, I would like to go ahead and introduce some of the, some of the well-known dignitaries who are here in the crowd. From, uh, from the Ascension Parish School Board, we have Superintendent Patrice Pujol is here. We have uh, school board members Tom Pierce, A.J. Nickens, John Murphy, Richard Coach Brown are here. Thank you all very much. Um, we have our state senator, Jody Amade, is with us. You're going to hear from him in a moment. We have our uh, clerk of court, re recently recognized by the state of Louisiana, Mr. Hart Burke, is here. Uh, our assessor, Mr. Mert Smiley, is here with us. State representative from District 88, Johnny Berthelot. And State Representative from District 58, Mr. Ed Price, is here. Over here, from the city of Gonzales, our good friends, Mayor Barney Arsenault. And I saw Council Member Kenny Matassa is here as well. Um, so thank you, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for being here. Gosh, if I'm missing anybody, it's because I didn't catch... 
Charles Brown, did you sneak in here? Charles Brown with the Donaldsonville City Council is here. Thank you. Are you hiding behind Ed Price? Okay, thank you for being here. And we also have um, we also have several members of the Ascension Parish Council. I'm glad to have you folks here. It's like you're checking out your new home. You're kind of doing the little walkthrough before construction starts. Let's welcome uh, Benny Johnson. Benny's right up front. Terry Cazzo in the front. Uh, Chris Lohr standing on the side. And your council chairman, Mr. Randy Kluot. Sitting behind me. Oh, you, you know what that means. You're going to have to hear from him in just a moment. So, uh, But again, this, it, it, what a wonderful occasion. This is something that we have been waiting on. And I'm going to give you a little bit of personal history. When I was in the fifth grade, I'm not going to tell you what year that was, but when I was in the fifth grade, I came out on this piece of property to see the groundbreaking for the hospital that was here. Now we've kind of come around. As this is another circle has gone round and the, and the government complex. At that time, it was something that was, that was really, really needed in Ascension Parish, and now this is something that is really needed in Ascension Parish. I'm very proud to be here, and thank you for the invitation um, to be here. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it right again. I want to invite uh, Ken Spivey back up so that uh, he, can, he first blessed the crowd. Now we're going to bless the grounds. Ken. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this ground that we all stand on here today is sacred ground. I ask you to bless the fruit of each person's labor that works so diligently. All of our parish leaders, those that work in parish government, whatever their uh, status may be, it's all important. I ask that every nail that's driven every square inch that's being worked on. I pray that every load of cement, every different material that's used, and every man or woman that works so diligently to build this great place where our government can reside, I just ask that you would bless it. I ask that you would give each person wisdom, those that work in the construction, as well as those that work in management. I ask that your blessings be with each and every person that has any involvement whatsoever. And Lord, I thank you once again for the great people of Ascension Parish that you have blessed so wonderfully because it's them. They're the reason for all of our existence. Each and every one of those who work hard, they pay their taxes, they work diligently, they worry about their kids going to a good school, and thank God we have a great school system as well. We ask that you continue to bless each and every part of our parish government. And for these things, I'll always be grateful for, in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. And... Um... I think as you alluded just a moment ago in your invocation and in your blessing, we, uh, nothing happens in a vacuum, uh, and, and nothing happens by one person all alone. Thank you, President. Appreciate that. So a lot of people contributed a lot of energy and effort to make this the success it is today. And uh, first, I would like to call forward and introduce to you the architect of this project from Mujo Architects. Please welcome Mr. David Mujo. Good morning. I'd uh, like to thank everyone for joining us for this official groundbreaking for the Ascension Parish Governmental Complex Building. It's been a pleasure working on the project, and I just have a few words to give you a brief description of our process. Uh, as I said again, it was a pleasure working with the knowledgeable group of parish officials who uh, had knowledge in every aspect of the uh, project and were able to contribute to a successful end product. Uh, we all work together as a, in a joint effort from the initial concept to achieve a design that will for many years serve the residents of the Parish of Ascension. We are blessed to have been part of this process and it was our strategy to increase efficiency by bringing multiple departments from the parish into one building under one roof. 
This will make it easier to conduct day-to-day -day activities for parish employees as well as better serve the parish residents. As a resident of Ascension, I feel that this will be a tremendous asset to our parish. As the project initiated, we felt that it was important to create a building that expressed the future progressive growth and aspirations of this parish. This new complex will be something we can all be proud of. As you are aware, we are the parish is now under contract with SBS Construction. They're a local construction company who has a quality reputation. We look forward to working with them to bring this vision to life. Again, we thank the parish council, the Central Parish Council, as well as the, the parish president for entrusting us with this task for this, for this great project. With that, I'd like to turn it back over to parish president, Tommy Martinez. Okay, back to you. No, no, no. We're, we're saving the best for last. Tommy is, is coming up last. You're going to hear from him. Don't worry. But I want to hear from one of the best friends we've had in a long, long time and a very good friend of Ascension Parish, the city of Gonzales, State Senator Jody Amade. Well, I don't know about the best for last, Morton. You must not be running for nothing. Huh? <laughs> no, uh, no I'm, I'm just honored to be here and, and uh, on behalf of our whole delegation. This is probably the first thing that y'all have done in the parish where we had, they didn't ask for money. So Johnny and uh, I don't see Eddie, but Mert, Mert's here. And, uh, but this is wonderful. You know, I represent, uh, at one point it was four parishes. Now it's parts of three parishes. And Ascension Parish is by far the, uh, probably the fastest growing parish. But we're the only one that did not have a, a, a centralized administration building. I mean, St. James has one. St. John has one, and Livingston has a new one that's uh, a few years ago they built it. And it just, it's going to be better for our citizens, for all our, of our services to be combined in one area. And I just want to commend uh, Tommy and uh, former Council Chairman Lohr and all the ones I see, Oliver and Benny and Miss Terry, and everyone who has something to do with this, because uh, it didn't have to be done. I mean, our parish would still be here in a few years, whether they did this or not, but it's just going to make it a lot easier for our citizens and a lot more efficient for our government. So thanks again for having me, and uh, good luck to everyone. Thanks, Jody. Thank you, uh, Senator Amade. And now we're going to hear from the probably the first person who's going to bang a gavel in this new building. Please welcome the Ascension Council Chairman, Mr. Randy Kluot. Thank you, Morton. Hey, look, this is a great day in Ascension Parish, really. And uh, before we get any further, I want to thank all the administrative staff, all the workers in every department. Uh, there was no production crew hired this morning. Everybody got up early and did what the hell they had to do. You know what I mean? So, and they continue to do that. This building is long overdue. We have uh, folks spread out all over the parish. We got people that when they have to get a permit, they got to get something. They got to go to three different places. They got to go ask somebody this, ask somebody that, and move around. Look, on behalf of all the parish council, we're, we're glad to see this groundbreaking, glad to see this on the way. And we also have expansion capability within these grounds. So this, this is just a good thing, and I can't wait to see it get built. And uh, like Jody had said, just a quick touch base that, uh, you know, every other parish around here, we are, we are blessed in Ascension Parish. We're blessed we got the Mississippi River runs between us, all right? We've got the largest industrial complex, one of the largest in the Gulf South region. You know, people are coming in here because we have good schools, we have good law enforcement, we have good fire department, we have honest government. That's why people are coming in, and they need to support this. And we need to try to get up on the next notch and deliver a service to the people that are coming and the people that are here. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. And now, best for last, promise you I'd save the best for last, the person who really makes all of this happen. Yes, Ascension is just about the best parish in Ascension. I'll, I'll, go, out, I'll go on a limb and say Ascension's the best parish in, in the state of Louisiana, hands down. Best people, best opportunities, best natural resources are located right here. But you really need a leader 
to pull all of that together and make it all happen. And ladies and gentlemen, you have that leader today, Parish President Tommy Martin is. Thank you, Martin, and I'll make sure that raise is on your next check. Appreciate that. But anyway, it is a great day in Ascension Parish. This is something that uh, we've been looking forward uh, to for a couple years now. Uh, it's been a, a long, hard struggle trying to get within the budget. Uh, the majority of the money, five, a little bit over $5 million, actually came from the hospital board. Uh, when they were decommissioned, they had $5 million left in the bank, and uh, they gave it to us and asked us if we would please do something that would be productive uh, to Ascension Parish. And I don't think, I can't think of anything else to, except to build something on this site where the hospital was for all the years and served the people. That's to build a new governmental complex where everybody and all the services will be under one roof. As uh, you heard earlier, uh, when you want a permit uh, now, you'll be, be able to come here. All the officers will be here. If you need a health permit, you can go across the street. If you want to go see Hart, you can do the same thing if you need something from the assessor or if you need to go to the courthouse. So it, it's going to help ex expedite uh, the customer services here in the parish, and, and that's what we're looking for. To dispel one rumor that I hear occasionally, when we were talking about building a new building here, I got several calls about the, the East Ascension Spartan uh, pond jump. I can assure you, and I want, I want to reassure everyone that that's going to continue. Uh, we're going to allow that to happen, and uh, hopefully it continues for years and years to come. So that's just another service that will be here. Uh, whoever's sitting, sitting in that office can uh, look out the window and watch the kids enjoy themselves and uh, do what they do every year. So it, it's good. Uh, as I said, uh, this is going to be a huge building. Uh, we're going to use the building you see in the back. That's going to be utilized uh, as a, a store where we can buy a lot of stuff that we use, gloves, shovels, all this type of stuff, have like a commissary, send it out, make sure that uh, everything is accounted for because a lot of times we get a lot of things. Uh, we've got a lot of people get more than one raincoat a year, so we want to make sure that everybody gets one raincoat. That's just an example. The other thing is that we, we pay for, for right now to store records. This is also going to allow us, on the other half, to, to store the records that we have and save that money. Currently, we are paying close to $100,000 to house the DA's office. We're going to move them to the current building where the parish president's office is today, and that's going to save us that $100,000 a year. With the new equipment and the, the, the I guess, the, uh, everything being new, we're also going to save on uh, our energy bills uh, in the future. So it's, it's all going to work out well. It, it's better. I want to thank everybody uh, here, uh, every elected official, for just working together to make this the best parish that it is. And uh, I can assure you, the last six and, a, six and a half years that I've worked with you guys, it's, it's been the best time uh, that uh, Ascension Parish has ever seen and the best cooperation that uh, we've ever had here in the parish. Now, Barney, we need to get you straight. So, <laughs> But anyway, we're moving closer to you so we can work together. But I want to I I thank the uh, city of Gonzales. Uh, for all the cooperation that you've done, and especially with this building, we're going to be housed in the city, and uh, you're helping us along with it, and uh, we appreciate that. So I want to, to recognize you on that. And, and uh, as I said, this parish is growing. You've heard it. Uh, Hart's had to, had to annex twice. He's got two new buildings uh, because of what's happening. If you talk to Patrice, they got to build a school, uh, improve a school every year for the next 20 years just to keep up with the growth. Uh, we built a new courthouse for the judges uh, a few years ago. So parish government is just following right along. We're going to have to centralize and we're going to have to grow also with the times. But uh, we'll go ahead and, and get this done and we look forward to seeing you in about a year. Uh, understand, what is the time, Mr. Mujo? Uh, one year. Construction. One year? Okay. Well, I'm going to hold you to it. So uh, anyway, we're going to see you in a year when we cut the ribbon. And again, I want to thank everybody uh, that's here today and, and everybody that's contributed to making Ascension Parish the great parish that it is. Thank you all. Thank you, President. Thank you, Parish President. And um, 
we're going to invite you now to shift your focus over just a little bit. And look, I want you to know, you see, they've already started digging this morning. You see all the dirt? They've, they've already started. They're, they're, these, these guys have been working hard uh, all morning long. I invite you to shift your attention over to your left, where we're going to have the groundbreaking ceremony. Afterwards, we're going to invite you up for some refreshments up here that Carla was up all night baking. And after that, you're invited to have a pond jump when, the, when the, the event is all over with, you can have a pond jump. So please, let's come on over. A lot of people made this happen, and we, we want to include you in the success. Please, all elected officials, if you would, join us uh, behind the shovels. Another groundbreaking took place recently here at Crescent Park in Donaldsonville, where renovations are due for this historic site, which is showing signs of wear. Donaldsonville is the parish seat of Ascension Parish and Crescent Park was actually in the very first designs of Donaldsonville back in 1803. 1803, I mean it's amazing. And this was one of the few places that was guaranteed by Pirate Jean Lafitte and his brother Pierre Lafitte that it was guaranteed that your goods could get to Crescent Park. Actually spells out Crescent Park back in 18, uh, 1856. I found where it said Crescent Park, Donaldsonville, Louisiana. He would guarantee your goods coming here to New Orleans and of course through his guys in the Barataria Bay. Crescent Park was uh, a part of the, um, I guess the loading and, and the market for, for the river and the river town. People would come up and down the bayou. Uh, bayou Lafouche then um, ran into the, the river. Uh, and was a, a great tributary to take you all the way out to the Gulf. So it was a great place for people to assemble and sell their goods and wares, and Crescent Park was that marketplace. This place has just been always the center for Donaldsonville because of its location, of course, right on the river. The last major renovation from the Crescent, uh, Friends of Crescent Park was in 1997, but we found articles from 1929, 1940, wonderful pictures of people coming home from World War I and World War II and Vietnam having their welcome, their parties here in Crescent Park. So we're standing on some really interesting soil and what we're hoping to do with this renovation is to encourage families to come back, history buffs around the, around the area who never even knew this was here, to just come and stand where the pirates stood, you know, come and stand where history literally lives right here in Ascension Parish and just really embrace that. This is a, a, a very great uh, moment in time in the, the city of Donaldsonville. Uh, this project has been uh, a vision of ours for quite some time. Uh, I know for the, the 10 years that I've been the mayor, uh, renovating Crescent Park have, have always been at the forefront of one of the things that we needed to do. And I'm just so happy that it is finally uh, getting to the point where it will come to fruition and we will, uh, our goal is to connect Crescent Park with all of the riverfront development that we have uh, planned. I'm just so happy that we can do something to Crescent Park. It's the last time there were major renovation was uh, 1997. And uh, as you can look at the renderings, uh, it's a, a great facelift that uh, this park is going to undertake. Um, one of the things that will be coming back is behind us, you can see the old gazebo. This was actually built in the 90s, and it's very pretty. But what we're going to do is actually bring back the original French market design, readapted for the lighting, of course, and for bands and, and with higher ceilings. But it's going to play on that, that original architecture that was here. Well, it's an exciting day any time that something will enhance the quality of life for our citizens. So we're excited to see it to come to fruition. We've been talking about it for a long time. And so any time we move forward is exciting to us. I want to uh, tip my hats to the uh, friends of Crescent Park that uh, for many, many years have, have been the full uh, runners of taking care of Crescent Park, uh, putting money in, along with the uh, Downsville Rotary, who also helps to take care of this park. But again, uh, I don't want to take any of uh, the credit. It's because of our senator that we have, 
uh, the money to be able to do this and and I appreciate everything that he's doing for us and and all of the volunteers everybody that have have labored to make this park uh, an attraction and we just had our July the third event uh, and we had a, a large turnout and I'm just so excited next year for uh, for July the third this park will be completed and it will be uh, a great attraction for everybody, not just in Downsville, but around uh, the state of Louisiana. I remember back in the 90s when they had uh, the same visions and, and, and dreams about doing this, and uh, finally the dreams are coming true. And uh, I, I appreciate that, and I appreciate y'all uh, being so diligent about this. I think all of us remember the years ago when the levee project, the levee, or should I say, and the pavilion on the levee, was a great attraction. I think all of us in the afternoons or on the weekends would go across the levee just to look out across uh, and enjoy the Mississippi River. It's a park we've all grown up in. When I was a little girl at the turn of the century, my parents would bring me on a, a covered wagon. <laughs> and there was a little pool here, a little wading pool. And so they had that and they had this, uh, this swing that went around in circles with all these little seats and stuff. So we all grew up here. It's a seesaw, which kids probably don't even know what that is today. So it's kind of, uh, it tells a lot of history and a lot of our past childhood is right here. So we're excited that it's going to move on and our kids can share with the excitement here. When you have economic growth, you also want residual growth, which is going to be growth with your educational system, growth with your infrastructure, growth with your parks and, 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 and things that we need to provide for our kids. Those are the things that, a lot, that attract people to your area. And I think that this is just the beginning of the new coming and the new birth of Donaldsonville in the West Bank because there's so many projects on the books now and there's so many things that's going to be done in the next couple of years. What we want to do with this project is have a complete overhaul and refurbishment. We're going to provide additional facilities and improved facilities for activities such as the July 3rd celebration and just daily use of the, of the park by the residents of Dawsonville and the surrounding area. In the central area here, as you can see from the graphics over to my right, there will be a main pavilion where we will be able to, or the city will be able to set up bands. They'll be able to load and unload equipment. And in front will be an amphitheater style paved area where seats can actually be set up for people to sit and view events on the stage, or they can dance as they typically do anytime there's an event here. One of the main things we wanted to do as well was to continue the access from the river going all the way towards the courthouse. Um, it is the place to be. It's, it's the little secret of Ascension Parish, and we just really want to open everyone's eyes and see what we have here. throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back to Inside Ascension. Thanks for staying with us. Up next, a couple stories about Ascension Parish government's efforts to go green. This is the Parish Recycling Center. In a moment, I'll explain the benefits of recycling and the options we have when we throw things away. But up first, Marshall Courtney has this report on harnessing the sun's power out of the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Well, we're real excited because now, as you can see behind me, we finally got our solar panels for Lamar Dixon. It gives opportunity to generate almost 32,000 kilowatt hours of power. Now, of course, during this day and age, we all look green, we're all looking at how we can conserve energy. But this is going to help us to do so. So we had an opportunity from NRG, who, get, who gave us a grant that will allow us to, to outfit three of our barns over here that's located in the proper sun position to get maximum utilization of the sun's energy, convert that to electricity, help offset some of our costs for, for generating electricity in, uh, at Lamar Dixon. 
So therefore, our electric bill should go, should go down a bit. So we're really excited. This is the largest project of its type in the state of Louisiana, and we do, we're doing it right here at Lamar Dixon. The solar panels will reduce Lamar Dixon's energy costs around 10% annually. Solar energy has been in the plans for Ascension Parish for some time now, and thanks to a grant from NRG, Lamar Dixon is the first to attempt a project of this size. President Martin has started looking at the possibility of doing um, solar energy a uh, while, while ago, I mean, maybe a year and a half to two years ago. It just so happened that after that process, NRG uh, was able to give us a grant to do exactly what we were, we were planning on doing. So what the public gets here in Ascension Parish is the ability to use solar power to offset some energy costs at no capital cost to the parish for doing so. So this grant from NRG provided the panels, 352 panels on three buildings. It also provides design and installation. So everything is being done for us. So we're just going to get the benefit of having solar power. Another exciting thing about this is that we will be able to bring some of the kids in the school to understand how solar power works. In fact, Sonora, which is a subsidiary of NRG, has decided that they would also bring curriculum so that we can utilize in our school system and teach the kids how solar energy works and possibly provide a few extra panels that they can take to their classroom and maybe do some science experiments. So again, this is a big win for Ascension. The benefits of recycling are numerous. Recycling helps protect the environment and conserves natural resources. Reduces the amount of materials that wind up in our landfills too. Reusing salvaged metals helps reduce energy consumption, which in turn reduces air pollution and helps protect our fresh water supply. This is the Ascension Parish Recycling Center located in the Department of Public Works parking lot, 42077 Church Point Road in Gonzales. This is where Ascension residents can bring non-hazardous recyclables Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. and on Saturday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Non-hazardous recyclables include items such as newspapers and magazines, phone books and paperbacks, mail, colored paper and envelopes, milk and juice cartons, cardboard, cartons and flattened boxes, aluminum and tin cans, and numbers one through seven plastics. In addition, the Ascension Parish Environmental Services Department coordinates the Recycling Roadshow. It's usually held the first Saturday of every month in the parking lot of the Prairieville Walmart. Here too is where Ascension Parish residents can bring their non-hazardous items for recycling. For disposal of hazardous household materials like these, the parish environmental officer organizes a yearly collection event, usually held in the spring at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Materials accepted include electronic equipment, including televisions, telephone systems, fax machines, video cameras and DVRs, computer accessories, cell phones, monitors, printers, remotes, gaming systems, and other electronics. Other hazardous household items accepted include latex and oil-based paints, paint thinner, varnish, fluorescent bulbs, things like tires and automotive batteries, gasoline, oil, antifreeze, home and garden chemicals, ink and toner cartridges, appliances for scrap metal and scrap metal in small quantities, propane tanks, household batteries, and rechargeable batteries. Materials not accepted include explosives, radioactive materials, medical waste, lab waste, asbestos, and wood and storm debris. For more information about recycling and the Ascension Parish Environmental Services Department, call Don Heisel, Ascension Parish Environmental Manager at 450-1308, or go online to ascensionparish.net and stay tuned to Ascension 21 for the latest informational bulletins regarding recycling events and parish environmental services. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back to Inside Ascension. Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by someone who wears a lot of different hats in Ascension Parish, Martin McConnell, Sales and Marketing Director for Lamar Dixon. He runs the Ascension Parish Festivals and Cultural Committee. 
and for the purposes of this segment, he chairs the Balloon Festival Organizational Committee. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, John. I'm really happy to be here. You can't imagine. Busy weekend. Have you caught your breath yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was a long weekend, a lot of work. But yeah, I mean, we, we got to keep plugging at it. Now that it's behind us, what are your overall impressions of the festival? Those beautiful balloons, the uh, massive crowds, and what better venue to have an event like this than the Browns? Well, Lamar Dixon. first of all, Lamar Dixon, nobody has Lamar Dixon. Nobody has anything like this but, but Ascension Parish. And we are trying to use it to its utmost abilities and capacities. And I don't think you could have had an event like this anywhere but Lamar Dixon. And I think it was especially gratifying because we're estimating that on Saturday, just Saturday alone, 35,000 people attended the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Awesome. And that's on a day that LSU played at home. Right. LSU was playing at home and still we got 35,000. I think that's pretty remarkable stuff. There were photo opportunities everywhere. Whichever direction the camera was pointed, you saw those beautiful and magnificent balloons. The, the balloons were out there, the carnival ride. I saw people taking photographs of their children on all of the different carnival rides that were going on. People were taking pictures with the balloon. The, the, the classic car show that was in the 4-H building. All of the barbecuing that was going on and all that, that trash talk that went with it. Yeah, that, there were lots of photo ops, lots of things to see, lots of things to do. That's a lot to coordinate. What's it take to plan an event like that? It wasn't just balloons. You had stuff going on all day long. It takes people. It takes a village to raise a festival, I can tell you. And, and John, we assembled a, a great committee. You know you, you were part of it yourself from day one. And this committee has been meeting every week for the past six months, once a week for six months, to coordinate and organize and develop this festival. Did a lot, a lot of planning. We tried to think of everything. Of course, you never think of everything, but we had it pretty well planned out. How important, Martin, this year were the sponsors? The sponsors were vital. They were vital this year because uh, the, the festival in the past has always been successful as an attraction to bring people in, but it was never financially successful uh, before. And, and we, were, we were concerned that we didn't want this to be a, a, a taxpayer subsidized thing. We felt like this was something that could really stand on its own. And a, a great deal of effort was, was put into to create a festival that people would want to buy into. And then we took all of that and we went out and we sought uh, sponsors. We, we gave them the pitch. We sold them on the idea. We're so proud that they bought into the idea. And I mean, before the first person stepped onto the grounds, the festival was paid for. What about the weather? Let's talk about weather. Weather was a concern. Uh, going oh, into my goodness. I checked the Weather Channel three times a day for the past two weeks. I'd go on my phone and the weather app and all of, all of that. Yes, we were concerned because such a, a big part of the festival was held out on grass. So we were concerned that there'd be some rain ahead of time that would make it boggy out there or, or whatever. And, I guess I never fully realized until this past weekend how dependent on the, or how sensitive to the weather these hot air balloons are. Because, uh, you know, you and I are big, tall fellows. We can stand there and take a little buffeting, but you take that seven story balloon and you put it up in the air. I mean, the winds really buffet that thing. And we saw that here, the tethered ride on Saturday. Uh, the guy put it up to try to give people as, who wanted some, some rides, and you could see they were really struggling to hold that thing there. So, so wind and rain, all, all of that affects the performance of a hot air balloon. Are you very, very sensitive to that. Let's talk about next year. Let's look forward. When does the planning start and what steps are you taking now to uh, keep it rolling? <laughs> the planning has already started. We are already contacting our sponsors, thanking them for their great participation because we really couldn't have done it without them. And we're also reminding them that the last weekend of September in 2015 and from here on out, the last weekend of September will be the Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival. So budget accordingly? Budget accordingly. Please put us in your budget. And some people, believe it or not, on Friday morning, I got somebody who called me and he said, boy, I saw this article in the Morning Advocate. Uh, I'd like to be a sponsor. I said, I'll tell you what, buddy, I'm going to take down your name and number and we'll, we'll give you a call shortly to talk about next year's planning. I was going to say, the invitation's open to anybody that uh, didn't participate this year that might want to back us a little. Uh, sure next will, year. sure will. But in a couple of weeks, we're going to have uh, another committee meeting, and we'll, we're going to sit down there, and I encourage everybody to start making your list now. What did we do right? 
What did we do wrong? How can we fix it? How can we make it better for next year? So we're already starting the planning process now. We want it to be better, not necessarily bigger. We just, we want quality Always more so than quantity. Very good. Thank you, Martin. Get some rest. You certainly deserve it. <laughs> and uh, we're going to leave you now with a look at the sights and sounds from the 2014 Ascension Hot Air Balloon Festival.
Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. There was a very special event recently at the National Guard Armory in Gonzales. After a year away from loved ones and family, the 1021st Engineer Company returned home. Let this video remind us of how truly fortunate we are to live in America, and may we never take our freedom for granted. Awesome day, and its son is home today. No words to describe it, and couldn't be better on a better day. I, it's like a dream, to be honest with you. Well, you know, it's a, it's a very, very special day when uh, we send soldiers off uh, uh, in harm's way. 
Uh, then they're going, uh, they went um, overseas for a purpose. Um, and that's so we can leave, uh, live free here in America. It's very special when you see the soldiers get off the bus and the families are here. Uh, and again, they're reunited back. Uh, and, uh, uh, it's just a good thing. So, <laughs> Fantastic, to be honest with you. I'm missing the deal. They're all great. They're all great. Oh, it means the world to be back home with my family and loved ones. God is good, all of them. All See, all of them. Oh, Glad to have all of them back, man. Just gotta keep praying for them. It's very surprising having to have a family welcome and support. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Inside Ascension. Remember, you can reach us with your comments at insideascension at apgov.us. The email address is on your screen. But before we go, here's some land yap. You may have seen him singing and playing at local venues and events. He's from Ascension Parish and he works in the drainage department. He's Trent Bourgeois. Thanks for sharing your time with us. For John Connolly, I'm Marshall Courtney. Please keep watching Ascension 21. Shining down on the bayou Moss hanging off the cypress trees Smell of gumbo Through my kitchen window and That's what home is to me Summer nights out on the front porch Swamp pop music 
on dreams. The Lord above and my sweet woman's love. That's what home is to me. Louisiana, you own this heart of mine. Louisiana, where well, light the ties of bind, and this Cajun blood runs through my veins, washing me away like a hurricane. Louisiana. That's what home is to me. My roots run deep through generations. Friends and faith and family. who I am and that's what home is to me Louisiana you own this heart of mine Louisiana where well, life the ties are bind and this Cajun blood runs through my veins washing me away like a hurricane Louisiana, that's what home is to me. Oh, Louisiana. Good old Louisiana. That's what home is to me.